Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Fuzzy Biker Garage. It's a beautiful day out, about 55 degrees. Look at the breeze blowing through the trees. But that's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about are these absolutely gorgeous YSS shocks that I got on my wonderful Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. I got these from Baxter Cycle the other day and uh, it was cold that day, about 32 degrees on my way home. So I didn't get a real chance to do much with it. I think I've got about 30 miles on them so far, but we're gonna change that. I've got plans for that. Today we're going to try to do about 100 miles. And we've got uh, one of the bumpiest roads I know of is oh, about 30 miles away from here and it's about 20 miles long. So we'll jet over there. I'll go up and down that road a couple times. We'll make adjustments to preload. Actually preload is already pretty good and compression down here. Uh, I got those settings wrong the other day. I did a little video about this and uh, I called them other things. But So preload is you adjust the spring here to, so when you sit on the motorcycle, the bike doesn't sag much, or it sags the appropriate amount. And uh, I believe that's been done. They adjusted that for my weight. I weigh about 220 pounds. And then compression is the rate at which this compresses, and that's adjusted with this little thing down here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the bag off on this side, I'll put my GoPro stuff on that side. We'll focus on this for the video. So today, like I said, we're gonna do the 100 mile rough ride, rough road ride. Tomorrow I'm going to try to do, oh, maybe 300 miles of Iowa two-lane blacktop. Try to stick to that kind of road and do some more adjusting. The day after that I'll try to do about four or 500 miles of uh, interstate because I love the interstate, on this bike anyway. And we will uh, do some more adjusting. <laughs> and then the next day after that, which I think should be Sunday, we'll get uh, probably 300 miles of both kinds of road and we'll just kind of see where we're at. And I'll give you my conclusion at that time on uh, what I think of these things. So the, the problem was, I really didn't have a problem. I had the stock shocks. They worked pretty good 95% of the time. They were not brutal, but they were a little harsh. When I first got them, they were brutal. They were set way too soft. I got them adjusted up right. I was pretty happy with them. Well, Baxter's got these in. I thought I'd give them a try. And uh, they have these in stock. Actually, they sold out of this color already. Uh, I did put the other video up and they sold out of this color right away. They've got the black ones in and they've got this color coming. So go ahead and order more if you'd like, if you'd like a set. What we're hoping is that this will uh, solve the ride problem that some people are talking about. Baxter's work with YSS directly to get this shock just right. When I install, I installed these myself. It took about uh, 15 minutes. This, this shock is exactly the same length as the stock shock. And what I did was I just put one side on at a time and they literally just slip out the old one, slip in the new one, mold them back in. And it, it I mean, absolutely, you know, slick. Let me gear up and let's go for a ride. Wahoo. Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We have made our way to Dunlop, Iowa. There's the post office. Uh, went through uh, Irwin, Iowa. Uh, west of Irwin is about six miles of just terrible road. And then from uh, Erling, Iowa, to Dunlop is about 13 miles of terrible road. Anyway, the shocks performed really well. I was very happy with them overall. On smooth roads or regular roads, they, I mean, they were perfect. Uh, the rough road from Irwin to, uh, you know, the six miles west of there, I thought they performed pretty darn well. And the worst road, of course, is from Erling all the way to, well, this location. And it, uh, I say overall it did okay. On the roughest spots, it did beat me up pretty good. Uh, but better than I have ridden in a long time. So what I'm going to do, that's on the lowest setting right now, I'm going to go up five clicks, seven clicks, I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've already done the other side. So I've, I'm leaving the uh, preload the same. I'm putting the compression up seven to the seventh click. So that should be stiffer than before. Now why am I doing that if I was happy with the ride? I want to see if there, what kind of difference I have. I want to see what kind of difference that makes. And I did do it on the other side, the bag's in the way, so I just went ahead and did it before I talked to y'all. So far I'd say the shocks are a winner. Uh, good ride overall, better ride than before for sure. I do like the way they look too. I think that's uh, been a worthwhile expense so far. Anyway, so the plan then is to, uh, I will run it like this all the way home, um, see how it performs, you know, unless it just beats the snot out of him. If it does that, then we'll stop somewhere and adjust them again, but we'll run it all the way home. I'll make a uh, evaluation at that point on what I want to do different. 
if I want to do anything different, I'll, I'll let you all know what that is. And then tomorrow's ride, I plan about 300 miles of Iowa, you know, two-lane blacktop. And uh, we'll uh, see what we learn on that, too. All right, let's uh, hit the road, and uh, I'll talk to you all when I get to the house. Wahoo! Hey, we are back in the fuzzy biker garage. Just put 100 miles on that hot rod. You can still hear it ticking, maybe. <laughs> the winds are howling out there. Nice warm day. Great day for motorcycle. I want to start by saying I love this bike. It's, it's got to be one of my favorite bikes ever. I say that about all my bikes, but you know, it's the best all around motorcycle. It's a Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. You know, that's a passionate motorcycle. That's a dirt bike. That's my grocery getter. This is my all around do everything bike. Uh, I'm going to drive that from the Pacific, the Atlantic, and north and south and that's why we're concentrating on these shocks uh, so we started the trip and uh, I had them set on two we did the uh, 50 miles out super bumpy roads I jacked them up to seven we came back on the same roads and then I did a little more and I got to tell you it, it tried to beat the snot out of me it wasn't treacherous bad but it was it was pretty bad so seven is too much I'm gonna back it down three one two, three. And I'm going to do that on the other side too. And uh, so that should be four. So we went from two to seven. Now we're back on four. And uh, I'm hoping that'll do good. So tomorrow when I uh, head out of here, we're going to do about 300 miles Iowa back roads tomorrow. So today was Iowa rough road or beat the crap out of your road or whatever you want to call it. Get the baseline. Tomorrow is going to be Iowa two lanes. We're going to do all kinds of curvy, twisty, fun roads. And uh, so it'll be set on four for that. And uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, well, you don't want to hear about that. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Going out on when it was set on two, when I hit like uh, where bridges were, or where the pavements changed or, you know, it, it did pretty darn good. And on the bumpy, on the uh, Irwin West Road, that's six miles of pretty bumpy road, it did pretty good um, on the uh, Erling to, uh, Dunlop, it, it, you know, it was better than it had been before, but uh, it was still pretty rough. But on the way back on seven, it was it was really rough. So, hoping this will uh, make that better. Boy, what a great bike, though! I tell you what, I just, I really, uh, I, you know, I went back and forth on buying this. I wanted the Interceptor so bad. I, I just, I love the Royal Enfield Interceptor. I just love that thing. But I knew I would be able to live with this one better. These are my Tour Master gloves. Polar Tech, they're almost too much today, but you know, it's better to have too much glove than not enough. <laughs> but anyway, this thing has just been a hoot. I left the bag off, it's right there, so I could show you all the, the work. Okay, my friends, life is good. Hey, if you're interested in shock like this, or need any other gear, doodads, thingamajigs, sweet googly woogly kind of stuff, you know, uh, new or used Royal Enfield Triumph Classic Bridge Bike of any time. Get yourself over to Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Or go to BaxterCycle.com. Either way, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. I know they're sold out of these. They were this morning anyway. They've ordered more. Anyhow, life is good. Life is good. Get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!